So it's uh, seven o'clock, first thing in the morning. I've just brought Rox and Gimli down to the skunky intro cage. Um, and of course, Gimli's a bit better, so uh, they're now down here permanently. And already, lots of interest from the mums in the troop. Uh, we've got Pan. Uh, Martha, Rox is very confident, um, and we have Button here as well, one of the orphans that went in uh, two weeks ago. So already good signs that two babies wasn't enough for these mums. And Gimli's still not going to the fence, but uh, kind of to be expected given his behaviour since he arrived. Uh, but as you can see, much more confident um, approaching other monkeys. Here we've got Reggae, and we've got Mags with Button, and we've got Pan who's grooming the Alpha uh, Paradise. This is Paradise. So she's already been grooming rocks this morning through the fence. We're down at Global Enclosure. This is part of middle section. Uh, Sidwell looks after middle section with Kletter and uh, he's busy securing a baby feeding cage um, onto the side of the fence. Uh, this is just to make sure that the other monkeys can't get inside it and of course so that it doesn't get pulled away from the edge of the fence and fall on the little monkeys. And then he's going to move to the front over here and now he's putting in the little holders for the milk bottles so the little milk bottles get pushed through this side um, so that nobody has to really interact with the monkeys at all so a volunteer will go around and uh, put the little milk bottles into these little holders and babies will climb off their mums and go into this cage and can uh, drink the milk from there Right here it's Skunky, this here is Button, this, and this is Rene, drinking from the feeding cage. And all the females are waiting for them.
This is just a great example uh, of how the system actually works. The little ones are able to get off their moms, come in, feed themselves, and then go back to their waiting mom. So there's very, very little human interference in the whole process. We're here at Coco, and we have Dobby and Carla in this tree. So this is Carla, and there is Dobby in the back. Little Dobby and Carla walking around with their moms, really doing great. It's nice to get a little bit of an update on them, see how they're doing, foraging with their mothers in the enclosure, um, moving around as a nice little family group. So uh, all working very, very well with this lot. Uh, moms are very proud of their babies and <laughs> of course glad to have them. The babies of course are that age that they don't really like um, to be held that much. They want to explore. Um, so they like getting around a little bit on their own and finding their own things and stuff like that and the mom sort of still want to hold them because uh, they like having the little kids around them or the little babies. So uh, it is a kind of a win-win situation but uh, the babies are a little bit more independent at the moment. That's sick there. And we've got Belle. Who's in for a bite on the ankle which is now he up really well she's actually just using it perfectly so she's blind so need to let her know the food's there <laughs> uh, the first monkey was Maddox who has a cloudy eye uh, so he's in to get some eye drops got everyone's favorite <laughs> Cody and Lilo. Special little monkeys. And Mila, who seems to end up in here every three months because uh, her condition goes down very quickly. So we bring her in to fatten her up. How long is she in now? Um, I don't know, it's a few days. Oh yeah. Maybe it's under a week? Yeah. She's a certain cage. So Mila's special, she gets to go outside. One of our sunshine cages. She has an outside heart. Princess Appy. <laughs> Princess Appy. So Appy had a trouble eating. Uh, she had a few rotten teeth and a burnt tongue. So she had some teeth removed at the vets. So she's back for a bit more recovery and she's on soft food. Mushy rice. <laughs> yeah, she spends all day on the hot water bottle. If you can see it there. Loves it. Thanks. This is an update from the skunky troop. Um, looking for Botten and Renee. Uh, this is foster mom Martha. And the babies are just around here in the trees. That's uh, Renee. There's Button, just in the second row of trees. Uh, looks like they're going around foraging on the leaves of the acacias and they have these um, pink and yellow flowers which um, become the seed pods um, so these monkeys do eat a lot of leaves it's part of their natural diet there's Renee making her way down notice these babies don't spend much time on the ground 
around the enclosure, around the outside. And possibly because the grass is quite long here. And they do spend a lot of time in the trees. So this is Rene. And Button. Up near the top. There we go. <laughs> it's Rene and Button having some fun. Uh, also Changuito. Uh, one of the other adults just jumping back and forward in these trees. So this is Mark at the Skunky Intricate. He is removing the wire from the door to the enclosure so that we can let mums in for this little guy that is Rox. Little Rox was a bit too boisterous for Gimli so we've taken Gimli back to Disneyland and we'll try and uh, introduce Gimli somewhere else because um, it didn't seem to be going too well. His interaction with the mothers or the interest from the mothers in this enclosure didn't seem so great. Uh, we think it's more because of boisterous rocks and the way he's jumping around and so excited to see everybody. Paradise is the alpha female of this enclosure, of the skunk enclosure. Uh, so she's coming first to see how things will go with uh, rocks. Little did we know this is uh, the orphan from hell. And um, I'm not too sure what rocks thinks is going on. But uh, he's just trying to take advantage of the situation. He thinks it's a big game. Um, he's really, really full of himself. Um, which is kind of strange. Uh, I mean, it's great that he's got a lot of confidence. But it uh, looks like he's overconfident. Um, he is even going up to her, although this looks like mating, it's not. It's a sign of dominance. So for a little monkey to be doing this is very, very cheeky. Um, and uh, he should be taken to task, especially doing that to the alpha female. So, uh, yeah, that's why at the moment I think uh, he really is the orphan from hell, the way he's behaving. Uh, biting the alpha female she actually gives up in the end and says she's had enough and just leaves and he's like kind of uh, well what's going on that was fun so um, here's Martha she's second in command it's actually Paradise's daughter um, and for this monkey she just seems to have a heck of a lot of patience um, you just can't believe what little Roxy's getting up to the whole time he just he just doesn't seem to stop it's like kind of crazy. Um, Martha's unbelievable with him. Yeah, I would have given him a hiding a long time ago, um, but she seems to just be putting up with his nonsense um, and kind of ignoring him to see if he's going to calm down after a while. Seems like Martha's tactics um, are working. Rock seems to have calmed down uh, for a couple of minutes and uh, she seems to have the situation kind of under control with him which is great. Uh, she's a very very patient monkey and uh, as it is like the first time for this enclosure to have um, little orphans it is quite remarkable how <laughs> she's behaving. As you can see little Rox is still trying his luck and um, He's still got a lot of energy inside of him. This little guy just it just doesn't stop. It'd be quite amazing to watch him carry on and behave um, through this whole situation. Um, so that's why this recording of him is so long, because we just can't believe um, what he's actually doing and uh, how he's actually behaving himself in this whole situation. It's it's just it's just really amazing. And he tries his dominance tactics with. Uh, Martha, but as you can see, she's having not, none of it. She's putting me into his place straight away and just saying that's not something you go out and do. But uh, although Rock seems to have calmed down a bit, I think he's realized that, that he's got to behave sometimes. But uh, 
we'll see how he goes. Um, this is Rox. So far Rox has met five or six of the skunky females. Uh, as you can see he's getting on very well with Martha. And we also have Malawi in here who doesn't seem to care too much. And there she goes. So Martha was uh, the one who looked after Renee and Button while they had, while they were in the intro cage. As you can see, Rox is full of energy. He's very, very playful. Um, he's not quite a baby baby anymore. He's a little bit older. Um, but he's been through a lot. He arrived almost was it three months ago uh, with two broken legs. So he was in critical care for quite some time. So this is the moment everybody's been looking forward to. And it looks like he should be okay to spend his first night out here. So he's out of night shift for the first time. I don't think so, yeah. This button in the trees with a few different females. And down below here we have Mags uh, grooming Renee, just hidden behind her. This is Malawi. So integration of these babies has gone pretty much perfectly. Uh, which bodes well for the future of using this troop. Of course this is all just beside the intro cage with rocks. So hopefully he'll be the next one into the trip and so far he's still with Martha and uh, we're gonna keep them in together for a while um, as they get on very well together and he can get used to just being with monkeys again uh, hopefully tonight he'll spend his first night out in this cage so he won't come in for the night uh, to the night shift night shift in baby care. He'll stay here, which means the only two monkeys left. And the night shift is our Gimli and Sachmo. So we're just down at Sick Bay and uh, Noam and Laura are giving Cuddy a bath because it looks like that she's got lice. Um, she's been itchy for a little while and um, they were just about to give her a bath and they noticed some things crawling around so it looks like lice. So she's just going to have a little treatment now, a little spa day so that she can get rid of her lice and uh, her friend Lilo 
is also going to have the same as well because you don't want to treat one and then not the other um, otherwise they'll just be crawling on onto each other um, lice are more common if the monkeys don't commonly get groomed which they don't so much apart from each other because they've been out of their group for a little while in sick bay um, and we're not sure if they had it before they came in or, or after they came in so we're just continuing with the treatment for a little while so that she can have some relief from all of her itching. She's just had a very light sedation to enable us to bath because she was a bit of a biter. Yeah. <laughs> We're also just going to mix in a little bit of tea tree oil in with the medicated shampoo as well. So extra effect for the lice. Girls are fully clothed to protect themselves because we don't want it spreading to humans either. We always make sure it's a nice warm day when we give them a bath because we don't want them to get a, a chill afterwards, especially if they've had some sickness going on. We definitely wouldn't be able to do this to Cuddy while she's uh, fully awake. This is little Lilo waiting for a friend to come back. She's also been scratching, but nothing like Cuddy, but we're going to make sure that she gets the same treatment. We're going to see though if we don't need to sedate her, she'll have a quick dunk and a bit of a tea tree spray and uh, then hopefully she'll be done. Monkeys do scratch, um, you know, they can scratch in anticipation of food, they can scratch just like we scratch, but it's when it becomes quite persistent that you can see, or if there's bald patches, you can see if there's a problem. They can get things such as um, ringworm fungal infections, skin infections and so on and they can also get external parasites as well. Hey Lilo! <laughs> Both Cuddy and Lilo are from our special cases, Calypso's Corner. Belle, our blind baby, blind juvenile, she's actually just returned back home, back home today. But these two now, are gonna, because they've got the lights, are going to have to stay in for a bit longer. But it's okay because they're enjoying hotel sick bay. They're getting lots of lovely food in here and uh, getting fattened up, ready for when they go back. Cuddy just having a bit of a rinse off before she wakes up. Mm -hmm. Due to the mild sedation she has, it doesn't last very long, but just enough that she can have a bath without being extremely stressed. And without our team getting bitten as well. Now she's going to have a bit of a rub down. We'll make sure we keep her warm until she wakes up. See how long it takes her to get dirty again. Here's Lilo, she's just having a snack before she has her bath. Lilo came to us um, partially sighted, we don't know what happened to her. Oh, I think she sees the girls coming. Okay, so Lilo's being called. Hopefully she doesn't need to have sedation. Okay, see anything on there? No, very clean. Maybe Cuddy's got them all then. Hmm, <laughs> tail looks like she's been itchy as well, doesn't it? And Lilo's just going to have the same treatment, but uh, faster, because she's not sedated. She's been a very good girl. She she may just have gone into freeze mode just so that we can get this done. As uh, I'm sure she's a little bit scared as to what's going on, so we'll try and get it over and done with as quickly as we can, so that she can go back with her buddy Cuddy.
There's a tea tree oil added to the shampoo. Now she gets a lovely massage. It's all part of Hotel Sick Bay. <laughs> If only Lilo would see it as a spa, hey? Yeah. <laughs> sure, she's not thinking that right now, but uh, at least she'll be nice and clean and free from lice. Yeah. At least for now. Lilo getting her tea tree spray after a bath. Be very careful to avoid obviously the eyes um, and any sensitive areas as well. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Thanks for everybody that's supporting us. It's really wonderful. Please do become members and join our channel. Otherwise, you can support us uh, through Patreon. Um, also at donate.verbit.za.org to make all of this type of thing possible. But for those that are supporting us, thank you very much. We do appreciate it and we'll see you on the next episode next week.